every student, every child that I've ever worked with has something that is key to who they are. So whether that be them learning um, through, you know, movement, through music, through oral, you know, presentations or something like that, um, I always try to find that balance and um, really zone into who they are and uh, their sharing as a unique little individual. I think the biggest challenge that I've had to overcome is not being with the students in person. Um, I'm very much a relationships driven person and um, working with younger students, we are quite loving and caring and physical. So it's been really hard to um, move through the different experiences with the pandemic. And that has really put some strain on our relationships and our building and our sense of community. I really value hands-on um, teaching and hands-on learning. So for example, with this huge snowfall that we've just had, there's been salts down um, in front of our school. What is this? What is it doing? Why is it here? So instead of just easily saying, oh, that's salt to help us to be safe and to melt the ice around us, we explored that. We, you know, had them scoop it up a little bit. We brought it inside. We talked about what it could be, how it got there, why it was there. It's really important not to give them a really quick answer and allow them to really have that hands-on exploring themselves and then come to their own understanding of whatever it is that they're questioning in the world around them, because that's really where the true learning happens. The one thing that I would think about and try to share with uh, new teachers is to just enjoy the learning process with your students. Learning is a journey and we're all on this road of learning together. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and actually say, hey, I've tried this a different way because we are modeling for our students. Knowledge shouldn't be just coming from the teacher. It should be going both ways.